take a minute and get everything organized and batteries charged up. Anyways, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode here at the Homestead. And this episode is going to be a little bit different from some of the others we have done in the past. So for those of you that have been around the channel for a while, know that I like to have my tools organized. You can see by my tool trailer, and if you missed our tool trailer tour video, I will throw that up in a link either up above or in the description below, and you can see how exactly I organize my tool trailer. But one of the things that always been kind of a sore point for me is my truck, and especially the truck bed. It has typically been just a place to toss crap, cover it with the tonneau cover, and forget about it. Well. The tunnel cover is no more, and today we're going to tackle organizing the bed of this truck. So to get things started, I've already emptied the vast majority of stuff out of my truck bed, leaving it to be the cleanest it's been in months. The other big thing I've added is I've already put a headache rack on behind my back window. And the reason I did that is I've been looking for a way to transport long lumber without having to put it in the trailer. And this now just gives me that ability to go off that headache rack onto the back tailgate. But what I'm missing still is a place to store stuff like boost cables or jumper cables, depending on what you guys call them, ratchet straps, tie downs, that sort of stuff. So I went to Princess Auto which is kind of the equivalent of, I think, Harbor Freight down in the United States, and bought these storage bins. They're just, they look like kind of tool cases, but they're lockable. I got two of them, they're nice and skinny, but they'll be the perfect size for just small odds and ends that tend to just get thrown into either the back seat of the truck or the truck bed themselves. And what we're gonna do today is make a little bit of a rack for these storage cases to sit in along that headache rack. just that what you see on there so we're gonna kind of more or less just wing this and see how this whole project turns out member here cut for this box. Let's go see if it fits before we build a whole bunch more. Fits like a glove. Alrighty, we need one more of these then we can start actually building out this box. on each side of the truck and support a little more weight as one piece as opposed to a bunch of joints. All I need to do is cut out the squares to finish this off. If we refer back to our handy dandy guide, we see that we need to be 12 inches for the inside dimension. So a whole bunch of squares at 12 inches and then we can get to painting.
All right, so with the box built, all I'm going to do now is give it a quick sand just to remove some of those torn edges from the cuts. I don't want them in my fingers later on. Um, and we're going to bedline the whole thing, so it doesn't need to be perfectly smooth. Painting is done. We'll give this a chance to dry thoroughly, and uh, we'll get it on the truck, get those bins placed in it, and get them loaded, and see how it all looks. So I'll either see you guys in a couple hours or eh, tomorrow morning. <laughs>